Look, Roscoe, two undefeat here against Marlow, a really strong team in the division. Sort of how pleased you were, sort of the fight that we showed Thank throughout the game. So yeah, definitely. I definitely wasn't happy. I was happy with, obviously, the, like you said there, how we formed in the second half, but I feel we didn't start the game right. And I think uh, had we started the game better, I think we could have um, been in the game a bit more. I mean, uh, Milo are a great side. Um, they do what they do well and, you know, they're composed in their work. Um, but for me, you know, I was disappointed with our first half performance, but really, really pleased with how we performed in the second. And how important is that, you know, staying in the game? We've, we've talked about, we've stood it many times, you yeah. know, again, there's nothing to show for it points wise. But how important is it sort of stringing these second half performances together and then putting them together for the full 90 minutes? Yeah, no, and that's what I've just said to the lads actually. So the, the key thing for me is the, the second half performance takes us into a big game on Tuesday uh, where we're, we're now starting to play teams in and around us. Um, so the fact that those behaviours and those habits are there um, and we can and we hopefully can hold on to those and and take those into Tuesday to start the game better because obviously we've got a big run of six games coming up um, where we're going to need to be performing like that. Look, Manu's been out for a sort of long period of time now, sort of longer than we initially thought. Come back in the last couple of weeks today, got his goal. Just talk to him about sort of his role in the team and sort of the way that he links up with Tyler up front. Yeah, so I mean, obviously Manu has been frustrating since my arrival because, you know, I heard a lot of good stuff about him. He was obviously in form. Um, and then obviously we, we, you know, we only, only caught eyes on him probably a week or two ago. Um, I was really, really pleased for him to get his goal today. Um, and, you know, in reality, when we look at the set pieces that we had and the entries into the box in the second half, in a way, I'd have liked to, to, to get more goals, to be brutally honest. Um, but the nice thing is, is he's coming into form with some key fixtures coming up for, for the club. Look, we mentioned these key fixtures. There's no hiding about it. These next six or seven are, are massive. What's the message then? What's the message to the boys? What's the message to the fans? What is there? So, yeah, as I put in my programme notes today, the message is simple for me. You know, Tuesday is, is, a, is a good game for us. Uh, Saturday again we're playing third in the league um, so again for me it's then the preparation for the following six after that so um, you know had we got anything today it would have been a, a real bonus but the, the key thing for me as I put in the programme notes is is the game after Leatherhead a week today we then go Tuesday Saturday Tuesday Saturday against teams in and around us um, and that that is where you know our whole running is going to be you know it's going to tell us where we are.